So, welcome back. Halli, hallo, Leute, welcome back. I forgot my catchphrase for a second. Jesus fucking Christ, Jesus. Um, I would say we do first of all. This, yeah, why not? Let's get rid of all of them. Virtual diet. Now you too can have a slim body without having to suffer through exercise. First, train yourself to curb your appetite by looking at blue food. What? <laughs> looking at all the blue food on screen is making me lose my appetite. Hell yeah. <laughs> I finished watching all the videos. I feel like I have a slimmer, more attractive body already. Sure. Sure. Of course. <laughs> Yay! Confident now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it's good late, okay. Jesus, man. Sure, just from, from watching videos you get more charming. Yeah, I, I, I believe that, sure. <laughs> so... It's getting close to the full moon again. Have you heard? I heard from a younger guy in my club yesterday that the second year is getting bullied. Huh? That's crazy! Which second year? Um, I don't know. All I heard is that it's pretty serious. I thought our school was peaceful, but I guess stuff like that still happens here. It seems like someone in the same grade as me is getting bullied. Hmm, who could that be? Who could that be? No idea. No idea. No, not this guy again. Ugh. <clears throat> Quiet on, class. It's time to begin today's lecture. Progregio Adio Lucem Sidarem. I'm changing today's lecture to another integrated learning one since Mr. Akoda left early today. He claimed he wasn't feeling well. Looked fine enough for me though. Quite a quick word of caution. Make sure you know what you're eating before you take a bite. Okay. I covered the basics of learning magic last time. Yeah, why even? <laughs> so today I go a bit deeper into meditation. First, let's review the ways that magicians will, magi will meditate. To heighten the creative impulse, the source of all your magical power, observe a real world object carefully, then recreate it in your mind down to the last tiny detail. That's the western standard for meditation, but I'd like to talk about the eastern style as well. Oh god no! Meditation was originally refined in the east. A modern magicians adapted eastern meditation for their own original style. You find the right posture, take a deep breath in and out and calm your mind. That's the basic practice of the Eastern style. It doesn't take that much to practice meditation either. All you need is some free time and a relatively calm environment. It doesn't take long but you should give yourself at least 15 minutes for a proper session. How in the fuck <laughs> is that learning in school? Japan, what is going on over there? <laughs> I, I feel so sorry for you. Now for the specifics. First, your posture. Just take a position that you find comfortable. Sitting cross-legged is good enough for most, but you can try the full lotus position too. It's sometimes called Kekafusa. You can even meditate while sitting in a chair. Any position works as long as it's comfortable. Once your breathing is relaxed, close, your, uh, close or cover your eyes and let the rest of your body relax too. Now that you've prepared yourself physically, you'll ne uh, focus next on your mind and soul. Imagine a symbol, some simple image, perhaps a large tree or the moon. SHUT UP! It could even be the god of your own faith if you like. However, do not force yourself to fully empty your mind. That's actually a common misconception. Most people aren't even capable of it, but succeeding is especially dangerous. You run the risk of losing all control to yourself. I'm feeling sleepy, I know how you feel buddy. Please close your eyes. Please. Oh. How is that relevant in anything that he's saying? How is it important? Who would need to learn all that shit in school? Like, Jesus, man. How is that fucker not have been fired yet? What a workout. I gotta teach those first years how to clean up properly. <laughs> oh. Hmm? Then I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone, and she totally freaked out and started crying. It was like we caught her red-handed or something. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Wow, that's pathetic. 
Wow, that... Never so hard in all my life. <laughs> that screeching just now, that she did. <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Bullies. Huh? Did you hear... a voice? It's... calling me. Huh? What voice? I don't hear anything. Oh. Uh, Maki? What's going on? Are you listening to me? Maki! Yeah, I'm listening. I'm right here. Maki, hello. I'm here. We were talking about how you are called Maki. They're finally gone. Ugh, I can't stand girls like that. I mean, who could? Fucking bitches! So I guess Maki is a, is a girl name. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. I think it's like a, like a, a genderless name to me at least. So let's go. Ring. Hello. All right, Otagiri. I'm counting on you. For both our sakes. I understand. Hey, yo. Oh. Hi. Hey, Otagiri. What was that about? What did he mean by for both our sakes? He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. Uh-huh. What? You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. What happened? Someone found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. Someone found a butt? Oh no! And that teacher wants the disciplinary committee to look into whose it was. Someone has broken school rules. It's only natural that I'm involved in finding and holding the transgressor accountable. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. <sighs> People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? Sure. <laughs> well, I guess seems to have high expectations of me. I mean, yeah, it's it's is an offense. Like smoking in school is fucking awful. Well then, I'll be excusing myself. I just have a hate for smoking. Now that I quit smoking. Hey, don't ignore me, you kiss ass. The student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? No. I better go tell the president. Okay, go. Guess I fuck myself. I just came into student council just to leave it again. Like, what was the point of me being there? What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. What you guys doing? Hey, so... God, I hate bullying. Even just seeing it happen to someone else, it feels just as bad. I feel the same. Yeah. Right? I overheard these girls today talking about how they were picking on someone. I could tell who they were talking about or anything though. I wish I could do something. Uh, dude, my persona just keeps getting stronger and stronger. You told me already. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not just any enemy, but I do feel like I've gotten a lot better than before. Now, nope, only my grades will go up. He didn't say that before. Why did I not? Oh, God damn it. What are you doing here? Yo, Kuma. Did you see my text message? What I go grab, grab a bite? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Sanada has invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Yeah, okay. Yes. Great, let's go. I've gotten a lot of my edge back since I've been able to focus on my training. I've been meaning to thank you for that. <laughs> You've really stepped up as our leader. No worries, buddy. Tonight's on me. You've got enough responsibility as it is. Uh good, I'm stopping. <laughs> so you've got talent and an appetite. I think you'd make a pretty good athlete. Just don't push yourself too hard. Things will get easier with experience. And if you need anything, let me know. I'll 
I'll do whatever I can to help. Okay. Excuse me. Huh? I knew it. You're Sonata-san from Gekukon High. I heard you lived in Iwa Todai. But wow, I never thought I'd run into you here. We're big fans of yours. Please, can we get a picture with you? I'm busy, and I don't like having my picture taken. Wow. I kept hearing rumors that you were injured. Uh, are you okay now? Do you need any help? I is there anything I can bring you? Jesus boy. <laughs> you are fucking... Fucking loved by people. What the hell? Who do you think that is? <laughs> Not sure. Celebrity maybe? Wanna go see? Don't do that, buddy. Careful. Let's go. Yeah, let's go fucking eat. You sure are popular. I this problem at school, but I didn't think it happened out here too. But why? It's probably because of those interviews. Or the rumors online. I've gotten all kinds of attention as I've kept up my winning streak. Uh, I mean it's natural then, I guess. I'm kinda jealous, yeah. <laughs> I've heard Junpei say that. But I wasn't expecting it from you too. I mean, what do you expect? Well, I appreciate their support. But I don't have time for that right now. All I want is to be as strong as I can. I want to train hard and feel real pride in my strength. But all I ever seem to get is more trouble. Hmm. All right. Looks like they've given up. Let's head out to eat. For real this time. We only have so many hours left in the day. I don't remember this, by the way. Is hey, this how you... Like that. I know a place that'd be perfect for us, girl. Is this how you actually get the social link in the original too? I don't remember that this was like this. But it's also Please, been so long like... leave us alone. We're not interested. Uh-oh. One drink. That's all we're asking. Come on. It'll be fun. Akiko, I think we have some business here. We said no, okay? Are they being hit on? Hey. Leave them alone. You don't want the police to get involved, do you? Huh? Who the hell are you? What? You want to call the cops? Quit trying to act like a big man, you little punk. That would have been a way better voice for Shinji that than the new voice for Shinji. <laughs> Slick moves. I bet you know how to fight. All right. So what if I do? How about you and I go a few rounds? If you ain't too busy, spot around back. But how about food? Whenever I see guys who think they're hot shit, all I want to do is put them in their place. But we were about to eat. I bet a lot of people call you a tough guy. So how about we put it to the test? Akihiko, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I told you. What, is he scared now? <laughs> see? I told you. Nothing but trouble. Yeah, I see that. Stay here. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. What? You think you're gonna beat me just like that? But don't worry. I won't go all out against an amateur. It's gotta be a fair fight. <sighs> hey! Over there! Break it up! <sighs> Let's beat it. Okay. I told you, officer. They were the ones antagonizing us. I mean, you accepted to punch them. <laughs> and I told you we'll hear all about it down at the station. Oh, hey, Yusuke. You're high school students, aren't you? We'll need your contact information to notify your parents about this. If I could butt in. Oh. And Kurosawa-san. I'll handle these two. I've already cleared it with the brass. Phew. I don't know what's going on here, but you better not be starting any trouble. 
Um, that was no trouble. Then why did we get a report from two ladies saying you were attacked by a group of punks? I mean, Akihiko had that under control. They wanted to test my strength. I was just giving them what they wanted. In the middle of a public street, you really need to think things through. Listen, I'm an officer of the law. I don't care who you are. Anyone who disturbs the peace is gonna have to deal with me. I mean, he was talking about getting to the alley or something. As you can see, your friend here is a bit of a hothead. Yeah, it's you know, okay. It won't be easy, but try and keep an eye on him, would you? Gotcha. Leave it to me. Those are some bold words, but thanks. My arms healed, and we've got way more dependable people now. There's no better time to test my strength, especially now that we have someone like you. We really lucked out on that one, so I'm gonna keep honing my skills. That way, I can put down anyone I face with my own two hands. <laughs> you really haven't changed at all. In any case, don't get in over your heads. I have a hunch the guys you ran into were from a gang that's been active around here recently. Just be careful. You don't want to get on the bad side. Once you're on it, you'll never get off. All right, hmm. it's late. You better head on home. Okay. So much for eating out. It's been non-stop interruptions all night. Akihiko, we can still eat each other out. <sighs> Kurosawa-san's right, though. We should probably head home. Sorry about this. I'll treat you some other time. Oh, goddammit! I'm gonna do some jogging on the way back. You wanna join? I, I, I haven't eaten yet and you want me to jog? <laughs> no, fuck you. You sure? You'd get home faster if you did. Well, I'm going ahead. Be careful on your way back. Jesus, boy. <laughs> I saw Sonata off then went back to the dorm. My mind feels sharper after seeing Sonata's stoic expression. Oh, max SP increase. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, no wonder I didn't remember this because it wasn't in the original. That was new, okay. That is cool, man. They put so much new shit in here. I love this. Um, hey. Have you heard about the second year? Yep, yep. Oh yeah, the one they found lying in front of the school gate this morning, right? Hopefully she just ran away from home. But I feel like this is the start of something big. Yeah, there might be reporters and cameras, crews and stuff. I'd rather not deal with that. Huh. I wonder if they know that I'm always listening to their gossip. <laughs> hey, did you hear about that girl in 2E? Yeah, I heard they have no idea what happened. Oh my god, isn't it so bizarre? Oh my god. Man, everyone's talking about it. People sure got a lot of time on their hands. Oh my god, Junpei. Oh, you hear about it too? Yeah, of course. I have. I guess. The girl from 2E went missing while she was out late last night. And this morning, they found her lying in front of the school gate. Why was there no option to say, yes, I heard that? Because I literally heard that. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened. And supposedly, she's still unconscious. Morning. That sucks. Yo, you can time. Hey, Man, Yuki. This is a tough case, even for Junpei Yori, ace detective. More like Junpei Yori, ace defective. <laughs> ace detective? You're so dumb. Say it! Hmm. Say it, please. More like stupid, ace defective. There we go. Where'd that come from? I, I thought for a second they, they got rid of that. <laughs> I'm glad they kept Actually, it in. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen you all morning. Where you been? I was talking to the teacher and that girl they found. I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. Hmm. She seemed just fine then. Ah, the plot thickens. Ah, the thick plotens. It plotens indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Yo. Exams are finally over. Um, I hope you did well on them. At least now the student council meetings can resume. 
Are you on your way to home now? Uh, would, would you like some company? Yeah, of course. Of course! Of course! Like, you need even to ask! Oh, okay. Um, actually, I'd like to stop by somewhere too. Could we go to the strip mall? I want to strip for you. Sorry to drag you along while I go shopping. That's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was bored anyway. Don't worry about it. If you say so. But, um, thank you. She's so fucking so cute, man. Searching through the books. I, I'm sorry if I ignored you. I, I know people usually are like um, bored by these kinds of girls, but I fucking love them. Like these shy girls are so fucking cute. I love them. And she especially. Sorry it took so long. This place has so many interesting books. I was having a bit of trouble deciding. Um, do you read much, Senpai? Um, I, I, I mean, not really, but I read fashion magazines. Not really. Manga? I read the classics. I say I read manga. I love manga too. My bookshelf is full of shoujo manga. I tend to get frustrated when the main character can't ask out the guy she likes. I think it's because I can relate to her. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here either. Um, hey, some, is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? Oh, I, I want to, I really want to. God damn it! <laughs> I'm having fun. Oh, what a relief. I've been so worried about that this entire time. God damn it, I want to be a dick so bad. <laughs> well, t today I was able to, um, say what was on my mind to you. Yeah, I could chop on that. I want to stop being so afraid of everything. And I want to be able to talk to other people. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Taka Nozuka, he gives me a lot of class-related tasks. But I'm always so scared that all I can do is not... Hmm... Why are you so afraid? Well, it's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore. I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So, whenever I see a man now... All I can think of is that face. Oh boy. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm really happy that you care. Thank you. Chihiro seems to appreciate my company. I feel like our relationship has grown. Yeah. Oh. I, I can kind of feel how, she, how she's feeling like that. Yeah, that is. I don't know, man. I mean, I had that stuff too with my parents. I, I mean, not not like this, but... Ugh, goddammit. I, I don't like my parents at all. Oh, welcome back. Hi. Did you hear the rumor going around school? I mean, come on, a ghost story. You'd think they'd be old enough to know ghosts aren't real. Anyway, um, I'm feeling kind of uneasy all of a sudden, so I think I go to bed early. Sorry. So I won't be going to Tartarus today then. Sorry. No, it's okay. I don't need to. No need to go. Fantastic. Hmm. It seems Takeba-kun has a sixth sense when it comes to shadows. Actually, that's quite common. Dealing with shadows has a tendency to enhance other senses. Aha. Uh -huh. Apparently, Tartarus is off limits today. Uh, Mitsuru's in training and Takeba has a bad feeling right now. Sheesh, could you be any more mysterious about it? Well, girls. Am I right? Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Girls. Rick and Wild Duck set. What's inside? Find out for yourself. Looks like the limited set meal is available on Saturday and Sunday nights. Okay. Uh, Rick and Wild Duck set. Sure, why not? Now I'm curious. Oh, I got the trophy. Command. <laughs> I decided to try the Rick and Wild Duck set. There was more than I expected, but I managed to finish everything. Yay! Courage! Wow, already four, Jesus. 
I think that it's because I, I spent non-stop time in that fucking restaurant. <laughs> Nothing but courage points, Jesus. But I really need to work on my academics, I think. Oh. What is that? A few messages, okay. Yuko and Shihiro. I look later. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Give me! Healthy life says that. Want to show off how much healthier you are than everyone else around you? Then do we have just a thing for you. First up, we have the health sandals. Stay healthy from your head to your toes wearing these. Oh my god, this is wonderful, but wait, there's more! We're throwing this diet food! Yay, yeah, gimme! Give gimme! Give bye! Bye, bye, bye! Sell, sell, sell! Thanks. Everything must go! Fuck yeah. Bye, bye. So, calendar, please. Let me check. Okay, the last day of the month. One week until the full moon. One week until the boss fight. Um, I think we can fit that into this episode. Uh, let's hang out with Shiro. Yep. Let's go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> can I please get rid of the fucking text box? God damn it! Oh, I want to. I want to look at her. I'm sorry. I asked you to come all the way here. She looks so fucking cute. All oh, that fucking. Uh... No one. <laughs> This is the first time I ever asked the boy to um, hang out. Um. To be honest, I was kind of worried. I kept thinking, what if he doesn't show up? Uh... <laughs> I, I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> um, I keep my promises. Try not to worry so much, I keep my promises. Uh... Yeah, I keep my promises. That's true. Oh, nice. Yes, that's good. It's a terrible thing to break a promise, you know, so... Oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to sound so um, condescending. She seems embarrassed. I learned a little more about her today. Oh. Hell yeah. So, um, what should we do? Uh, I was so worried that you might not show up that I forgot to think of what to do if you did. Aww. <laughs> God damn it, how can you not like her? We browsed various stores for a while and then decided to return to the dorm. I know people said like she's like um, like the most boring girl character, but I don't know, man. I like her. She's so fucking sweet. Uh, Mitsuru, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Stop, dude. Hey. Mitsuru? Are you okay? Hmm? Is something the matter? Yeah, you seem kind of spaced out here. Honestly. Ah, this incident is quite troubling. As the student council president, I need to do something. Though it doesn't help that I have no idea what's really going on. Okay, so you just stand there because you stand, want to stand there, okay. Damn, we must spread fast, especially this one. Everyone at school knows about it, and soon everyone in town will too. Ah. If you're looking for Mitsuru, she's in the back of the reception area. Apparently she's uploading the dorm's records or something to the school server. She's gotta do it every so often. I know it's her job, but still, she's really got a lot of, uh, on her plate. Okay. The girl they found was one of those girls I overheard talking about bullying someone. It's probably unrelated though, right Kumakun? Uh, they could be connected. That's... Maybe. Honestly, something about it is bothering me too. Yeah. Pretty sure they are connected. Well, Duck Burger again. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm not spending any, any more time in that fucking store. Um, I think what do we do? I don't need courage, courage. And this is just SP, I think. Let's do that, whatever. Hmm, you want to use the computer? Good timing, I just finished my own business. Feel free to use it. Oh, they even paid attention to that, okay. <laughs> Mindful Bootcamp. It appears to be software that teaches mindful meditation. Even those who have a hard time concentrating will be able to focus their minds with this program. Lessons on proper breathing and posture begin to play. Huh. My head feels clearer than before. I feel like the meditation has helped me train my mind. Ooh, max MP increased. By 5 only? Nah, okay. I thought it may, may, maybe like well, it was 10 or something, but that's fine, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. That could be life and death. You never know. So. Oh! We're switching to the summer uniform today. Fuck yeah. Nice. It's almost time to leave. Cool. Do I get them in my uh, outfits? Oh, hey girl. The student body seems to, rather restle uh, to be rather restless lately, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
I thought so. Well, I only hope it doesn't have anything to do with shadows. Akihiko said we may be receiving a new member, but we still don't know when we will be attacked. So remain alert at all times. I know when we will be attacked, don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm the protagonist, I know things like that. Class is ended. Jesus. Okay, nice. Everyone is in there. Did I see that correctly? Oh, hell yeah. That is my favorite outfit of her. Oh, oh it looks fucking cute. Oh, Kumakun. You know those rumors? They are a little creepy. Yeah, oh, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, girl, say something different. Um, okay. Wait, do I have these outfits now? Or do I need to uh, get them? Yeah, shit, I need to get them, I think. Okay. So. I spent some time working with the student council. The hours flew by as I worked hard on my tasks. Noish. I don't see Odagiri. Is he absent today? Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. You said asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. On my PG stream or video. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Oh, uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. Okay. Did you hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Um. Well, he's still at it. This is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Jesus, boy. Hey, fuck off, asshole. This guy looks like he's about to hit Odagiri. Knock it off! God, what a shitty day! Don't think I'll just let you get away with that! Oh, hey. Hey. What is it? Did you need something from me? I mean... <laughs> looks like you're hard at work. Turn a blind eye here. There's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I don't think this is the right approach, though. <laughs> I know what people think of me. Just accusing everyone you just see. I don't know, man. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. Just because they look like uh, or act like uh, delinquents. I don't know, man. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand, right? Fuck you. But sure, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we are better friends, sure, sure. Every time it's getting my persona stronger than whatever. <laughs> I'm going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. Uh-huh. And you should get that, that, that thing in your face getting checked out. <laughs> Check if you still have all your teeth in. Like, Jesus, man. Oh. Hey, you could talk. You ever check out the student message boards and stuff? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, now they're saying it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story that did it. Uh, okay. Come on, nobody really believes that stuff, right? What's this ghost story about? Oh God, here we go. What? It's probably made up. We don't need to go into details, do we? You have no I'm idea, guys. Go on, tell us. Mm. Do your worst, Junpei. You got it. Here goes. Good evening, and welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. Oh, the legend has it 
late at night, after everyone has gone home, a oh. maniacal ghost roams the halls and devours anyone caught in its grasp. Really no. The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Witness A. How are you doing that with, with that fucking flashlight when the, the, the light in the room is still on? But sure, go ahead. Anyway, he said to me, Hey, Iori, I saw something weird the other day. He sounded so serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. What was he it? He told me he saw the girl from 2E. Oh. He claims he watched her go into the school on the night before the incident. The what? No. I told him I don't believe it. Not even for a second. That girl from 2E ain't the type to go wandering around at night. But Witness A was as white as a sheet. He swore to me it was true. Then it hit me. What? What did... <gasps> what? If the girl was found unconscious at school, then maybe the ghost really did make her its dinner. It no. It made sense. She went to the school at night and walked right into its deadly trap. I oh, felt a chill fucking God. down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there truly are some strange things in this world. Believe it or don't. I don't because you are still alive. What do you think, Akihiko? Seriously? Not one word about my amazing performance just now? That's all you get, buddy. I'm not so interested in the ghost part, but it does sound like it's worth investigating. So, you're afraid of ghosts, huh, Yukata? Didn't know you were such a chicken. What? Who are you calling a chicken? Fine then. Let's investigate it. Each of us will ask around for the rest of the week and gather information. This ghost story is just a bunch of nonsense. I'll show you. Sounds good to me. The story is a bit unnerving, isn't it? <laughs> she has no fun with that, I think. Well, leave it to you guys then. Would have been too scary for me. What? Oh, poor girl. <laughs> Don't worry, Takama, we can do that. No problem, no problem. I help you, don't worry. Oh, she's already researching her, okay. Someone else is using a computer right now. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to talk to her. Sorry. I'm trying to find stuff online about that ghost story. It seems like it could take a while though. So I'm not gonna go to court at Tartarus today. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. You do you, girl. Let's see. If Takama won't go to Tartarus tonight, perhaps it would be better to go when everyone can join us. Though I have to admit, I'm a bit curious about these supposed huntings. God damn it, I'm having hiccups now, Jesus. Hmm, this isn't good. We're getting a lot of inquiries from parents and reporters alike. Really? Yuka really seems pretty serious. Well, it's good to be that invested in things. If you're free, how about lending her a hand? I mean, I tried it, but she shoot me away. So... Wakatsu Kitchen. Eat at Wakatsu. And the seafood full course. We should be able to do that now. Yes. Because we are charming enough. They know me as a regular customer. I wonder if it's due to my charm. I tried the seafood full course. Hell yeah. They ordered the seafood full course. I can sense Omega Freeze rushing to my brain. I feel like I can solve any problem now. Damn. Fuck you. Yeah. Bing bong. Nice. Still kind of stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's time. Good evening. Hey, buddy. I'm back, just as I promised. How have you been? I was naughty. Like, really naughty. Get out of here. It's not very nice. Come on. Don't be so mean. You creep me the fuck out. In another week, the moon will be full again. The next ordeal will be upon you. Be careful. 
Mhm. Mm Until next time. Sure, buddy. Sure, sure, sure. Ha. <laughs> okay. Morning. Hi. I'm just gonna do my best from today onwards. Good luck. Hey, listen. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the ghost stories. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm gonna look into everything there is about that ghost story. Remember, we share our findings on Friday. Could you also try giving information to Kumakun? Like, maybe you could talk to some students after school? Yeah, I will do. I will, I will. I will help you out. I don't think that was in the original that I had to keep my eyes open. But it seems like this is now a thing. <laughs> ah, this phrase. Mono Susa Magiku also appears in Ugetsu Monogatari. Of all the Ugetsu tales, I'm most fond of the one about the vengeful ghostwife. Such an eerie yet poignant story. Speaking of which, I've got a pretty good ghost story of my own. Care to hear it? Oh, <laughs> now I'm feeling sleepy yeah? when, when he's about to hear Okay, let's say it. I want to hear this. Then my friend, the one who came with me into the tunnel, suddenly screamed. There's a girl right behind you. We went back home, scared of, out of our wits, but not long after that, I started hearing the strangest thumping noises coming from inside the wall. And the faintest voice croaking, let me out, let me out. As far as I knew, that room had always been vacant. Who was in my wall? So one night I decided to go right up to the wall where the, sound, uh, where the sounds came from and knock on it. <laughs> All of a sudden, right in my ear, I hear this girl's voice loud and clear. I'm here. And that's where the youngest member of my family came from. She grew up to be just like any ordinary human though. Nowadays I only lie awake in fear that she'll run off and marry this loser she's been seeing. Oops, uh, that's the bell. Okay, class, that's all for today. Wow, that was just the teacher rambling about his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we, we learned a lot, I guess. I, I got my, my academics up, sure. I take that. So, class is ended, and... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bebe, Kenji, Chihiro. Hell yeah, Chihiro. Are you ready to level up, Chihiro? I think you should be. Yeah, you are. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! Then let's hang out with Chihiro. Who else? Like, like you need, you need even... Do, do we need even to ask? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Of course, Chihiro! Forgive me for asking for help so suddenly, but do you have time to meet after school? I'll be at the usual spot in the hallway, but it's not a problem if you can't make it. Of course I can make it! Girl! I will. I would love to help you. Oh, wait. Did, shouldn't I look around the school for ghost stories? Mm. Wait. I heard Yamagishi son fainted again and she's taking days off from school. I wonder if she's okay. She doesn't look very strong. Um, okay, I'm in a little of a conundrum right now. Um, I don't know if it's like a new mechanic. Because there was like red text that showed me I have to maybe search for the story. I will look around um, the town a little bit and talk to the NPCs. And uh, in the next episode we will see each other again. We will hang out with Chi uh, Chihiro and do the other shit until we finally get to the full moon. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Okay, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you the next time. Bye bye!